we've taken this monitor, the, the, the sort of the affordable you know, 799 price point, we've, we've made two iterations of it. So we have sort of the Pro line, 799, and then we have our Think Vision uh, 28 smart display over here. Same 4K display, but now I add 10 finger touch uh, to the design. And I've gone with a, a little more stylish, a more consumer uh, home or small office type, uh, type design. But with the 10, with the, the ten finger touch, uh, display I'm driving um, certainly off of this device the the Windows content that I've connected here and also I'm driving the touch um, over to the screen using USB. But the difference is when I unplug from this I, I can you know, plug in whatever device that I want to I'll actually cycle through and move off a of display port over to smart mode is what we're calling it and what I leave behind instead of a monitor that I just unplug from and leave dark it actually leaves behind a full Android platform. So that's why it's our smart display. So I have the latest NVIDIA uh, Tegra platform in this. This will run KitKat 4.4. And now I have a 4K display with an Android uh, operating system, your full ecosystem available. So I can still run 4K content on the device, but now I'm just driving it off of the Android platform. And the nice so thing, the K1 can can push the 4K resolution. Well, I didn't say K1, did I? But uh, next, <laughs> next, next generation platform has no trouble uh, pushing 4K. In, indeed, yes. Yeah. Um, the the other nice thing is the eco the apps. See, like that. Yeah, I like that exchange. I'm trying to get someone to confirm it. <laughs> uh, the, the the other nice thing I like about this is apps that are optimized for tablet on the Google on Google Play Store mm -hmm. are FHD and they scale beautifully to 4K. So I use. Uh, Angry Birds 2, uh, 2, or Star Wars Angry Birds 2, and you can see it sort of beautifully scales up onto that 4K display. Yeah. So that makes a nice, uh, usable, usable platform. And we really see this as, you know, it's, it's, think of it as a 4K display plus. You know, so that's why we're calling it a smart display, because it gives you that capability of you know, using, the, using the device after you've unplugged all of your peripherals from it. How much storage is on it internally? So it's a 32 gig um, footprint, but I could hang off a USB. I could hang a you know 500 gig hard drive sure. and stream content, movies, music. Doesn't really matter yeah. on that because we have multiple inputs on the side. We have USBs and we have multiple HDMI's and Display Ports off to the side as well. So you could put your PS4, your Xbox One, other computers. I'm, I'm running Display Port in off of the X1 Carbon. Multiple USBs off the side as well. So you really have sort of you, know, you open it up to whatever you want at that point. So if you have something hanging off the USBs, they're accessible to the